another super windy day, which means I have to go pick up our front porch decorations. It definitely feels like below 30. Let's find out. Yeah, it's 19 degrees in Northern Virginia today. Super cold, super windy. It probably all has to do with the wind chill and the, the whole thing that, that causes temperatures to be temperatured. Welcome to another episode of Let's Hack. Today is day three of building our water-cooled machine, and we will be focusing on adding all those components we've been building over the past few days to the system. Now today is primarily focused on the case aspect of this build. So getting those fans in place, getting those components installed, and even setting up radiators and tubing so we can start thinking about how our water flows through the system. Here's the shell of our case. Uh, the idea here is that I'll, I'll get it flat on its back here and I'll start adding components where I see necessary. You don't believe the lies that they tell. I'm going to begin with the motherboard. Uh, I think it's one of the more fragile pieces, so uh, having that installed first will not only keep it safe, but it will also give me an idea of where I should start thinking about tubing and the direction of water, etc. So I've made sure uh, to line up all the holes, as you can see here, uh, with the screw holes and the offsets from the case. The motherboard seems to be fitting very snug, so that's the plan. Mission accomplished. I'm going to start tightening down the motherboard at this point. We'll never go, we'll never go, no. Okay, so uh, progress so far is pretty good. Um, I do want to mention one thing real quick. Uh, most of what you see here, as far as radiators are concerned, are actually used. These come from a different build. So don't mind the scratches. I know I hate them too, but they are what they are. And we'll go from there. They're still in good shape, so that's why I'm using them. I have a radiator here, radiator over here, a radiator over here, and a radiator over here. The idea is that if water flows through all of them, by the time it gets to the components that matter, the water will be cooled. And that's why radiators are radiators. They are known for dispensing heat uh, through these radiator fins. Now on the other side of these radiators are... <laughs> now on the other side we have fans, right? These fans, these are the... 120 millimeter fans. These guys are gonna pull in that cold air from outside, same with down here, and they're gonna hopefully keep these guys cool. And as far as over here, because we know heat rises, this is more of an exhaust setup. So these guys are gonna shoot that, that hot air out, it's gonna send them outwards, and uh, same with this one here. So it's gonna keep whatever heat this is uh, you know, capturing and it's gonna shoot it out this way. So it's safe to say that this guy and this guy are exhaust, and this guy and this guy are intake. So the coldest part of the machine should be around this area here. Now what I'm thinking about now is figuring out how I'm going to get my, my cylinder hooked up here to where it either hangs or I use some sort of component to, to, to do my thing. And last time um, when I did the schematics, uh, I had it right around here. So I'm going to figure out how to get that. And then finally, uh, in this build, I haven't done anything with this particular pump yet, but I, I plan on putting it somewhere here, and I just need to evaluate where it's best going to sit. And I have little mounting components for that as well. So uh, for the next, you know, a couple of minutes or so, I'm going to start experimenting and visualizing where these pieces will go. We'll never go far apart. We are. 
Okay, so I think this is the loop. Okay, so first things first, let's head over here. This guy. I thought it was a cool idea to do something like this first, keep it metal, but then I realized how much of a waste it was. So I tried to redo it and I went back. Whatever, right? It doesn't look that bad. Uh, I got the long pipe here, which feeds directly into the pump. The pump gets fed uh, from this reservoir here. The reservoir itself is feeding the pump uh, back through the loop. So we're shooting out from the pump to the graphics card, to the RAM, to the CPU to get cooled, to go back to get cooled and recycled.